Hey guys, Hex13, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to go over Backbox Linux, which is, which is an alternative to Backtrack Linux. So, um, people who are using Backtrack might want to check out Backbox Linux if you have not. Um, go ahead and go to their website, which is www.backbox.org, and go under Download section and check out the 32-bit uh, and the 64-bit version of uh, Backbox Linux 2.01. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what the uh, new release gives us here and it says the new release includes features such as Ubuntu 11.04, Linux kernel 2.6.38, with XFCE 4.8. I'm a. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big XFCE fan. So, um, it's very fast. It's very lightweight. Um, even on resources. So, um, both 32 and 64 bit versions are available. What's new? There's a system upgrade. It gives a, a performance boost. Um, they might have fixed some issues on uh, some performance maybe. There's a new look, um, improved start menu, uh, there's been bug corrections, there's new sections of forensics, uh, documentation, reporting, reverse engineering. They're kind of like making it a menu a little bit more cleaner, kind of like what uh, the backtrack is doing basically. Uh, they've been adding new hacking tools uh, such as Doradus, I don't know how you pronounce it, but I think that's how you pronounce it. Ettercap, John, Metasploit, you guys know this kind of stuff. Um, Inmap, Set, um, Slothkit, W3AF, Weavely, Wireshark, all that good stuff. And the system requirements, like I said, 32 bit, 64 bit processor, 256 meg RAM. I have 8 gigs of RAM and in the virtual machine I'm usually using 2 uh, gigs of RAM so uh, that's more than plenty and then 4.4 gigabit uh, disk space for the installation a graphics card that's capable of doing 800 by 600 resolution a DVD ROM or a USB port so um, definitely check out their website they got a form a wiki a chat some screenshots of what the uh, desktop or the uh, distro looks like when you check it out um, the login screens um, but I'm not gonna go really kinda stay on this website here I'm gonna go ahead and just open the virtual machine so I can show you uh, what I got so far so I'm gonna minimize this and in virtual machine as you can see here I'm not gonna go full screen because I don't have the virtual uh, the VMware tools install for this just yet. I just now installing this and it's downloading updates. Um, so it's got about almost four and a half, uh, maybe five minutes now, uh, just depending on internet connection here. But um, as I can tell when I first booted this and started running it, the sound uh, it, it start it works. Uh, out of the box for me at least and even in the virtual machine I was able to listen to uh, some YouTube and some music on it so, uh, so for those who are using backtrack maybe this is the distro for you if everything works out of the box for you um, including the wireless uh, cracking I was able to plug in my um, my alpha card and my um, my archos card too it would um, it was the RTL 8171 I believe uh, chipset and that was plug and play basically didn't have to install any patches or fixes or anything like that it, it worked for me at least um, not sure about what you guys will do I'm basically just been installing this right now is what's doing I got some updates but um, let's see here as you can see the desktop background looks pretty neat nice and clean nice and sharp the uh, icons aren't too big they look nice and small too kinda looks like a gnome uh, or gnome if you want to call it that I don't care what you guys call it but um, kinda looks like that but I believe it's more cleaner I don't know about you guys but it looks cleaner to me uh, so the start menu let's we'll start with the start menu we have a web browser which is of course Firefox mail reader terminal oh and that reminds me when you right click in 
Backbox Linux, you have the terminal, open terminal, uh, already built, pre built in there. Oh, uh, now in Backtrack, you have to install that yourself. Now, um, you got auditing, so you guys are familiar with all this stuff. Uh, multi ego, Zen Map, all that stuff's going to be in here. Just basically anything you see or you use in Backtrack is most likely going to be in this. If it isn't in this, um, you can I'm sure you can install it. Um, so if not, you can also just maybe add the Backtrack uh, um, respiratory, uh, yeah, the the uh, uh, repository uh, packages to download and install. So. Um, yeah, they got everything spaced out here. There's a space here, a space here. They got everything organized here. I like this. This is really nice and clean. Um, so I'm not basically going to go over all of these stuff in here. Just kind of going through here so you guys can maybe pause it. If you guys wanted to see if there was anything inside this. Uh, yeah, Metasploit, Armitage. So um, you guys can look at any of these that you might really like so I'm not going to go over all of them like I said though um, most likely it's going to have everything you need uh, I've been finding everything I needed on it of course so I didn't have a really any problem with it um, bleach bin yeah. let's see wireless cracking you got your air crack you got a kesmet netcat hp ping 3 yeah, this thing's really nice. It's your services, just like like I said, just like Backtrack. It's a great alternative for those looking for something else. Apache, um, you got your OpenVAS. Uh, you got this one too, Duratus. I just, I really never checked this one out yet. I might have to look it up after this video, actually. I never checked it out yet. Um, Piblo, you got Pes uh, Postgres, SQL, SSH. I mean... I'm not going to go through all of these, but um, f you get the Firefox Pigeon, uh, Transmission for Torrents, Thunderbird, uh, now Val uh, Valiel, um, that's that's Tor actually, so um, f some of the, you guys who do use Tor, I need to get this out there, it is not safe to use Tor because there's, an ex there's a vulnerability or exploit with the... Um, the tour exit so um you might want to be careful with that but honestly i haven't had any trouble tour so um i've been actually using it it works for me for what i need to do so uh very nice pre-built inside i like that uh x chat for irc chatting desktop record for making youtube videos the list goes on guys i mean this is a great send that uh, package manager Ubuntu software center nice very great well guys I, th I think that just about covers it I don't know what else to say about this system there's an install icon if you choose to install it when you run it from the uh, live CD but other than that um, I guess I'm gonna end the video just comment rate subscribe uh, let me know what you guys think send me a message thanks appreciate it take care guys